Welcome guys, here we are, here we are, Giacomo James, here my name is Jack, yeah, I am a YouTuber, I have uh, a big, a huge reaction video channel, uh, 12,500 subscribers and many more are coming, this is uh, a YouTube channel, uh, nine, months, nine, mon nine months old. This is really, really recent, this channel. And already 12,500 subscribers. So thank you everyone. But here I am in this new name, Jack, as Giacomo is my name. James is my name in English. Jack, so is the name my friends call me. Here I am in my bass with my microphone. You see, I am a singer and bass player from a punk band, Kills Rock. This is my band, this is me. Here I am to ranking Green Day Records. Here I am to ranking Green Day Records with you in this uh, new experience. I am a reactor, I am a musician myself, but uh, I every time rank records, but never do here, I never did before here in uh, uh, YouTube. I speak also Italian because I am also Italian. I will speak also something in Italian to help my Italian friends to understand me better. Ragazzi, ciao! Avete visto? Io ho un grande canale di, di video reazione, mi chiamo Giacomo James, cercatemi lì. Um, ho aperto anche questa seconda strada, mh, semplicemente col nome Jack, che come mi chiamano gli amici, per, fare, per recensire le band e i loro dischi. So, guys, we don't waste more time. We start this trip. We start this trip, of course, without a doubt. Yeah, Green Day, uh, 13 studio releases record but uh, I also took attention in this review in this ranking uh, to uh, International Super Eats 2001 record with best Green Day songs uh, and three uh, gifts for everyone and Shenanigans 2003 record with all besides inside So we start this trip. We have got 13 records to, to rank. So we start with the least for me. Oh man, this album is terrible. For me, it's just obscene. Yeah. And I start with the last record, last Green Day record. Ragazzi, peggior album di tutti, parto sì proprio dall'ultimo. Guys, Oh, this is my opinion, guys, but of course my opinion is unjudgeable and of course it is objective. <laughs> Green Day, father of all the motherfuckers, where Green Day are? Oh man, I'm not close to a change of sound by a band. But of course here, here you, can, you can't recall Green Day at all. And this is short. Oh man, this is around 25 minutes of music. Oh my lord. Yeah, of course songs are still catchy. Father of all the motherfuckers subtitle track is very catchy. And some other are really cool, of course. But this is not Green Day music. This is something completely different. Here BJ choose to, to do something similar to indie music and some kind of alternative rock that doesn't fit at all with punk punk vibes and their style. So to me, ah, no, this record, delete this record if you love Green Day. I don't like this one. Ragazzi, pessimo perché corto e non c'entra niente con i Green Day. So Green Day International Super Hits 2001 release. Oh man, I know this is a not, this is not a studio album, but Uh, I insert this one because I feel terrible about this one, this record here, because uh, to me the songs inside are not the best songs and I don't like uh, this kind of things. I think you, this is just for commercial, for selling and I don't like this kind of records with oh man, with a collection of best tracks, best tunes, I don't agree with this. So for me, this is not good at all. And I ranked this one, not least, but almost. 
only the 14 position for for this one i'm sorry but only jar a gift track inside jar jason andrew relva a song dedicated to a guy who passed away is the reason to have this record no other no other reason ragazzi Terribili queste raccolte, International Super Hits lo metto penultimo perché non ci sono né migliori pezzi e poi solo un modo per vendere. E solo JR vale il prezzo del biglietto. Avanti. Guys, then, Shenanigans. A year later. A year later, 2002, we have got Shenanigans, Green Day, B-Sides. Oh man, these come 13 in my list, but just because these are B-Sides and it is not a studio album, but not bad at all i think it is enjoyable to listen this one there are a lot of cool tracks like ha ha you're dead i'm so happy oh man this is a cool record with a lot of undesensitized i'm on the wagon again oh guys this record is not bad at all you have to listen and give a try to this one it is enjoyable very very nice B sides and C sides that maybe are not, they don't deserve to stay there. So, really good. 13 just because we have got better music about Green Day. Ragazzi, questo tredicesimo, questa raccolta di lati B, diciamo, canzoni scartate dai dischi, ma è molto carino. Cercatelo, l'ho messo qui solo per un motivo che è una raccolta di pezzi scartati, ma c'è dentro della roba carinissima, ve l'ho anche canticchiata. So, we go forward, guys. We are still down in the list. You have to know I love Green Day. Green Day has been one of my favorite bands for a lot of years and they already are a bit. June 16 I'm going to a live concert again to see them live for the third time in my lifetime. I had a little argue inside of me because of their commercial choices step by step. That, that is the reason why uh, I didn't go more times to watch them. But now We go to the 12th position. Number 12. Oh man! Yeah! You can't believe it? Yeah, Green Day Uno. The trilogy. The first record from the trilogy. Uh, yeah. This is September 2012. When I first listened to this record here, I was in love with this one. Really, believe me. When first time I was uh, listening to this one, it was it was so fresh, so enjoyable, energetic. But the reason why in this lower position this record is because some tracks really sucks. There are a couple of tracks that really sucks. First one is Kill the DJ. Oh man, this is horrible. You listen one and you enjoy the rhythm. Someone kill the DJ. The rhythm is very nice, but this is garbage, guys. This is not good at all. This is garbage, of course. And so, for a couple of tracks, uh, and this record is not higher for the couple of trashy tracks, but This album deserves to be listened, especially for the first two tracks. Stay, you stay the night, and uh, also other tracks, especially the last one and the uh, 11th track of this record. So, this record is good, it is not bad, but it, it is underrated, all the trilogy is underrated, but here you have two trashy songs that I don't like a lot so it came down ragazzi questo disco al, al numero 12 sì il primo della trilogia 1 uscito a settembre 2012 perché l'ho messo così in basso perché è un disco abbastanza carino energetico dentro fresco appena l'ho ascoltato mi era piaciuto tantissimo ma ci sono dentro un paio di tracce che schifano veramente il cavolo fra queste c'è Kill the DJ no non si può ascoltare. Avanti, position number 11, here we've got Kerplank, Green Day Kerplank, the second record by Green Day. I know someone should be a little bit angry or sad because this is low, but believe me, trust in me, 
I consider this a good record. Simply, there are better records. Uh, why this one is only 11 in my uh, in my ranking? Because this is a little bit short if you eliminate uh, the last three four tracks that are uh, that came out from Sweet Children first. Uh, demo by Sweet Children that, that was the original name of Green Day so very 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 raw uh, mm, yeah child songs Sweet Children at the end without this one the record is very short and we have got also uh, a who cover My Generation very cool talking about my generation I hope you died forget all but it is not Green Day music uh, the rest of the of the record the other tracks are really 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 good here there is 2000 light years away cause she's 2000 light years away a beautiful song and Julie is trying one for the rats or backs oh this song is wonderful and also cause it's just one of my lives cause it's just one of my lives when I was younger I think the world circled around me oh beautiful but especially the best two songs of this record here that are no one knows and 80 80 and no one knows are amazing 80 my mental stability reaches its bitter end and all my senses are complete and glad magic does any cure for this disease someone call love not as long as there are girls like you oh yes yes fresh youth fresh adolescence vibes and yeah this is very good and no one knows with this bass intro amazing amazing so this comes solo wear only because this is really short and if you took away the sweet children tracks and my generation who cover this is really really short but the tracks that are inside are incredible this i love this record I am having chills as goosebumps reacting to this one. So, yeah, 10th position. No surprise here. Because I showed you immediately this next one. This next one is, yeah, number 10 is 21st Century Breakdown, 2009. Why? A lot of teenagers, a lot of millennials love this record here, so you will tell me why this is not up uh, and in a lower position. Because this is the try by the band to do again American Idiot. Uh, this was a big try, again a concept album, very interesting, but the story is not so catchy like American Idiot's story, not so interesting the story inside. The story Christian and Gloria is very nice, the story by, between these two guys, but it, it is more a childish vibe story, more for teenagers than for adult people. You know what I mean? American Idiot is a very deep story inside the American society. This one is a little cheesy, the story. and. Also, some songs are cheesy, and the reason why this record is here is because this is, is maybe too long. Oh man, be oh my Lord, 19 tracks. I don't remember well all, but a lot of tracks. And 21 Guns is a very good song. This famous single from this record, but a little too pop for my tasties. Do you know what you're fighting for? Uh, this is very, very catchy. This is beautiful. One, 21 guns. This is very beautiful, but it is a little pop. But this song is very good. But some other are not because this is a too long record. Too much tracks inside. However, the self-titled track, 21st Century Breakdown, is a bummer. This is fantastic. And also other tracks, East Jesus Nowhere especially. Oh my lord, I love this one and a lot of other tracks, but 
this uh, try by Green Day to do again American Idiot like every time the, the second act of everything is really lower it is not a new idea like American Idiot was so this one stay here ragazzi prima vi ho detto di Kerr Plank che lo adoro il secondo disco di Green Day ma l'ho messo undicesimo perché comunque è troppo corto se togli le tracce quelle prese dal primo demo quando si chiamavano ancora Sweet Children ma le tracce che ci sono dentro sono fantastiche al decimo posto questo perché è la brutta copia di American Idiot anche se ci sono canzoni fantastiche dentro e poi troppo lungo per un disco punk, troppo, troppo veramente. La storia anche dentro è meno accattivante. Mi piace, ma è meno accattivante. You have got also know your enemy. Do you know your enemy? Do you know your enemy? You're gonna know your enemy. Well, this song is fantastic. Know your enemy is maybe one of the best songs inside this fucking good record. So, now we go <laughs> and we are starting increasing. We are also in, oh man, no, still ninth, ninth position, ninth, Revolution Radio, 2016 record. Oh man, this one came be, after uh, the trilogy. Uh, a lot of people blaming Green Day for the trilogy. A lot didn't appreciate at all. The effort of BJ doing three different records. Uh, the criticism, uh, the musical uh, ranking doesn't understand it. Uh, but I like the trilogy. <laughs> Uno has already came in lower position, just 12, but now here we have higher position for the others. But Revolution Radio is a kind of comeback. Uh, it was excessive uh, 21st century breakdown. Mm, yeah, it was Rococo. And also the trilogy may be a little excessive for someone, for a punk band. So this record here is honest. and. It came after uh, the trilogy and it is a good equilibrium, this record. Not so long, not short. If you start listening to this one, you go forward until the end. And we have, uh, and we have a masterpiece inside here. The longer song of this record is a masterpiece. My name is Lee and I'm freaking out. This song is amazing. You, you've got to listen. The longer track of this record is just a masterpiece at the end. Standing at the edge of the world, lost in a kind of is freaking me out. Oh man, this is amazing, this song. This song is amazing. So. There are amazing tracks. Bad Band, the start is really Green Day style, finally. And Revolution Radio is a fantastic song. And you have many other energetic songs. We have also a nostalgic, homeless... Uh, Hot was when we were forever young. When we were hot was. There is also a track if I'm not wrong, uh, only a track that I dislike in this record. So this is the honest position for this record that came after the uh, detox of BJ, after risking for his life. This is the reason why inside here there is also the single Cause I'm still breathing, cause I'm still breathing on my own my head above the rain and roses making my way, my way cause I'm still breathing it can sound a little popish for someone but I like this song a lot cause I'm still breathing on my own my head above the rain and roses making my way, my way, my way from you this is very good song so guys a little Italian and we go forward. Are you curious to know the position is? Oh, we are in the middle of the parade. 
Ragazzi, ho detto che questo disco è onesto, è venuto dopo la trilogia forse eccessiva, dopo gli eccessi di 21st Century Breakdown, assolutamente un progetto un po' troppo ambizioso. E è onesto, è ben fatto, lo ascolti volentieri fino alla fine, ci sono un paio di capolavori dentro. Uh, Bang Bang è un inizio potentissimo, Revolution Radio è uno dei migliori pezzi, poi c'è la nostalgica Outlaws che comunque non ti annoia mai. E poi Still Breathing, un singolo da urlo. Avanti! Però c'è una canzone che fa cagare dentro e per questo l'ho, l'ho declassato un po'. Oh, guys, here we are. We have got Green Day 3. So, another uh, album from the trilogy. This time, three, the third record. Uh, in November uh, 2012, it came out, this one. And this one is really good. Oh, this one, uh, Drama Queen. Drama Queen is the terrible track of this one. She's a drama queen. Oh, this is liquid shit, guys. Oh, this is liquid shit. Really. But except for this one, this is a very good record. And we have, we have fresh youth energy inside. Uh, like in X Kid. X Kid is a bit too long, maybe, and redundant, but it, it is good. Hey, little kid, do you wake up again? You're not so young, but you're still dumb. Oh, this is a very cool track, but the start. We have got a masterpiece inside here of international music. Where in the world the forgotten? I lost inside your memories. The forgotten song with melancholy, sad vibes very very beautiful and maybe a track also in a movie twilight movie this song is there and we have got i'm missing you you're not around and i'm a complete disaster i just mean that this one is in the trilogy the most love story record maybe for someone a little cheesy i don't I like 99 revolutions at all, this is just shit for me, but the rest of the record is cool and because of the forgotten track it deserves to stay here, because this song is incredible. Ragazzi, qui ci ho messo tre della trilogia, il terzo disco de, del terzetto uscito nel 2012, questo uscì a, a, a dicembre, oh sorry, December 12, 3. Eh, c'ha un pezzo che è The Forgotten che è micidiale e solo per questo merita di stare un po' più su di altri poi c'è Drama Queen e altri pezzi che fanno veramente cagare ma l'ho messo qui mi dà questa vibrazione qua cioè vado ogni tanto ad ascoltare i pezzi di questo disco non tutto per intero però anche X Kid che sembra ridondante è bella guys we are increasing now 7th place uh, oh man We are going higher. Seven place we've got DOS, the third record of this trilogy. The second out in this one in November uh, 2012. This is the best record for me of the trilogy. This is energetic. This is this has energetic raw punk vibes. This is just punk rock. Oh man, at the maximum level. I like a lot. <laughs> the start of fuck time with a rock and roll uh, refrain and oh man this is so cool and also the verse is kind of rock and roll this is amazing oh baby baby it's for time oh man this is also tempting this song I like a lot and there are a lot of Uh, dirty Road and Bastards and there are, uh, oh man, there are a lot of songs inside this one. This record here, I mean, yeah, Dirty Road and, ba- dirty road and Bastards in three, three records, but this record here is amazing. There are some songs here really energetic, really impactful. The best of the trilogy, simple. Ragazzi, questo è il miglior disco della trilogia, sentitelo, è figo, è energetico, la partenza di Fact Time è pazzesco e c'è tutti i pezzi. This one is not a, a weak track. All tracks are good. There are not weak tracks inside here. 
We've got the sixth position. Green Day, 1039 smooth out slappy hours. Oh, we go, we go back, back, back to vintage Green Day. This is the first Green Day record. Green Day, 1039 smooth out slappy hours. Hours. Oh my lord. This is the combo of the first Green Day EPs. Here the drummer was not three cool. Also Brante was the drummer, another drummer. We had not three cool yet in this one. So the trio was not complete. And this is such a fresh adolescent vibe record. This record is really good. It is really long because there are a lot of tracks inside, but you are never boring listening to this one. This one is amazing. And there are some songs like uh, Only of You. This is amazing. I wish I could tell you, but our words are come around. God, if you only knew the way I feel for so long. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Also, the riffs inside. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Of course, the production is fresh and young, but this is a very good record. This is amazing. There are inside going to Pasalacqua song at the library. I was there. Oh man, disappearing boy. Uh, we have got Green Day self titled song, Green Day song. Oh man, this record is something very, very good. And we have got also here inside uh, a Operation Ivy cover knowledge that is better than the original. So, good record, least than once in your lifetime. My number uh, six overall Green Day record. So we go number five. We are near to the podium, ragazzi. Detto il primo disco di Green Day l'ho messo al sesto posto, carinissimo, lungo lungo perché raccoglie tutti i vecchi EP, ma non annoia mai. Ci sono delle canzoni fighissime, adolescenza fresca, testi un pochino come posso dire di punk lover, ma ovviamente la produzione non è il massimo, ma questo disco è fantastico. Cercatevelo, soprattutto le canzoni che vi ho citato. Quinto posto, fifth place for Oh Green Day Nimrod. Oh man. Here I was, uh, I had an age to decide. This record is the fucking underrated record. The re this record deserved, of course, deserved, of course, of course, to, to stay in the podium, maybe. But there are simply something better than this one. So Nimrod is my number five overall. Uh, this, this, this Green Day record is something really special. Inside here there are my best tracks. Time of your life is maybe um, the first or the second Green Day songs I've ever heard. Time of your life may be the first. Good to read dance, time of your life. Another turning point, the first the king the road. Time grabs you by the as the red you where do you go? So may the best of this test don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable But in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life I hope you had the time of your life Oh this song is amazing Oh man also with violins this is magic Then we have also walking along with some harmonic, then we have King for a Day with wind instruments, pa, 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 pa. calling about cross dressing in adolescent age, and we have ta, 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 this snare drum start with nice guys finish last. This is so powerful. This is one of my best Green Day record ever. Oh man, I'm so <laughs> I'm so grateful Green Day did this one. Oh, nice girls finish last. Oh man, this is song is amazing. You're running out of gas. This is song. We start with the snare drum. This is just amazing. Something sick. Nice guys finish last. You can pogo all night long. And each in a ride. Their masterpiece from this one. Hey, mister, where are you headed? Are you in a hurry? Need light to happy hours. They all know. And guys, with this. Riffs, bop, 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 
bam, 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 bam. Oh man, this riff very really typical of this song. Trouble times, you know I cannot lie. I'm out the wagon and I am itching right. With the ending scream. Oh man, this song is amazing. This is a various record. This is the most underrated record, I think. The most underrated Green Day record. A little long, but it is not boring. Uh, this one is here only because you have got one or two tracks. You can vomit listening. <laughs> Or oh, you have last ride in that you don't understand why this track is there. Just an instrumental track, very boring. This is shit totally. And this is the only reason why this record is not either. Because this record deserves a lot of amazing, astonishing songs. Worry Rock scattered, uptight. In this record, it's like Hashinka. Jinx, what's your trick? Oh man, this is Ramones style. What's your trick? Bam, 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 bam. Oh man, three chords in, in the best way possible. Fantastic record. Reject, a lot of amazing songs inside this one. Also, prosthetic head. The ending is amazing. Ragazzi, questo disco non so come ho fatto a metterlo al quinto posto, ma c'è semplicemente di meglio. Qui, uh, Green Day, questo è il disco più del 97, 1997 record this one, questo è il disco più sottovalutato del mondo, c'è dentro una varietà pazzesca, stavano già cambiando un po' di suono, c'è King For Day dove parla di, di lui che si traveste da donna, che c'è gli strumenti a fiato dentro, è, è pazzesca come idea, c'è Walking Alone con, con l'armonica ancora la sente in televisione girare negli ispezioni pubblicitari, c'è i Cinerai, c'è Nice Gas Finish Last, ve l'ho già detto, c'è... Uh, Time of your life, good riddance, ve l'ho cantata, che lo dico a fare, tantissime altre tracce che vi ho nominato, fantastico. This record is one of the biggest record ever made in punk rock history. It is not pop, it is a lie. We have got also Platypus inside this one. And Take Back, that are evil, evil tracks. So, we go forward, number fourth, oh my lord! Here we have Green Day Warning. Oh, I know a lot of you dislike this record or not appreciate this record. When I first listened to this one in the year 2000, uh, first of all, I have to tell you I love this record. And when first of all I listened to this record here, uh, I was a little bit disappointed. It let me down a little bit because Green Day uh, change a little bit the distortion of the guitars for a more polite sound, you know what I mean? Acoustic guitars uh, at some points, but here all songs are a banger, all songs are amazing, all songs are, oh Jesus, 11 out of 10, 11, 11, 11 out of 10, all songs long. This is a 12 songs amazing record, you, you are not able to make it start that it is over and you have to listen again. This is the magic of this record here. This record is just senseless. This is beautiful. And listening more time, I was addicted and dependent from this one. I remember uh, I was 18 years old. I was going to a trip with my high school in Czech Republic and I was listening this one in the bus all time long and also stalkerizing my friends. Oh man, this is fantastic. Ragazzi, a little Italian and then I tell you more. And we are near to the podium. Then we have the last three. You bet now. Um, ragazzi, ho detto che questo disco quando è uscito nel 2000 sono diventato dipendente, tossicodipendente. La prima volta che l'ho ascoltato mi aveva deluso perché ho sentito questo suono ridimensionato più al dolce con meno chitarre distorte, con meno violenza, con meno velocità, ma poi l'ho apprezzato, qui non c'è una traccia debole, sono tutte tracce che valgono 11 su scala 10, è fantastico questo disco, un disco capolavoro. Guys, this record here is really, really, really amazing. You have got the warning title track song, this is very cool. Uh, you have got Blood, Sex and Blues, you have got Church on Sunday, you have got fucking Castaway, 
with the bass, with an amazing bass. Oh, energetic vibes everywhere. You have uh, a self-reflecting song like Misery. You have, oh man, that beat holidays. A lot of beautiful tracks. And at the end, the best. You've got uh, Waiting, Minority and Mrs. Day Parade. Come on guys, let's talk about this record. This is amazing. I've been waiting a long time for this moment to come. I'm destined for anything at all. Oh man, wake up! This song is amazing, Waiting. And minority, I wanna be the minority. I don't need your authority down with the silent majority. Majority, I wanna be the minority. Oh my lord. I wanna be the minority. A step, a legend to the underworld. Groovy as fuck, groovy as hell. And then we have the amazing ballad, Messi's de Parade. One of the best page of music ever written. This record is something incredible. Oh, sorry if I'm long, but oh man. This is something special, guys, really. Ragazzi, questo disco è pazzesco, avete sentito alcuni dei pezzi che ci sono dentro. Dopo lo shock iniziale ho goduto, l'ho ascoltato. This, I think this one is the record I listened more. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know, maybe 1000 times I listened this one. Every single day, three or four times a day. Oh man. Okay, now we have the number three. Number three record ever by Green Day. And then at the end, let me some comment to tell me your opinion about this ranking. You agree or not? Of course, my uh, review is objective, <laughs> but of course you have a little right to your own taste. So let me tell you your parade and ranking down below. Third record, oh, what a surprise. Duke is not first, not for me. This record is really, really, really good, but man, questionable, questionably, maybe Nimrod could be also better, but the reason why Duki is stronger than Nimrod is this record is not uh, a fucking weak track, like, the, like warning in another kind of style of music, but this one is not a weak song. Oh, no, 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 no way. This is the perfect record, and you know this record with reprise record the first uh, took them into the mainstream. This is maybe the most famous rec of the old record, the vintage Green Day. You have got inside here basket case. Do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? I'm one of those melodramatic fools, neurotic to the bone, no doubt about it. Sometimes I give myself the trip, sometimes my mind plays tricks on me, it all keeps setting up. I think I'm cracking up. Am I just paranoid? Am I just stoned? Guys, it is enough. All of this song deserves to stay up in the first. Oh man, yeah, maybe, oh, oh man, repentance here, no, of course, I'm convinced of this choice, but basket case, she, she, she screams in silence with this intro of the bass, the scream, she, amazing song, when I come around, when I come around, the most groovy song ever written, and you've got also here a remake of Welcome to Paradise, maybe the best song from Kerplank that I forgot to mention before. Welcome to Paradise inside here, remake with a better production is a bomb, is a weapon. And then you have Having a Blast, the second song, it is just unreal, this song is maybe the most underrated, you don't know why it is not a single. Crazy chump song and the first one burn out. I declare I don't care no more. I'm just growing, I'm not growing up, I'm just burning out. And I'm taking line to walk amongst the dead. Oh, sorry, my pronunciation in English is not perfect, but 
uh, burn out with this drumming solo by Precool. Ba 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 ba. Da 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 ba. Oh man, this is amazing. All record long is fantastic. I love also Sassafras, Roots, uh, Bass Line. All songs are amazing, but of course, Basket Case, She, When I Come Around, Burn Out, Ending the Blast. Something special inside here. And also Welcome to Paradise, of course. Oh wow, what a record, guys! <laughs> Who doesn't know this record? Everyone, I think. Ragazzi, Green Day Duki, non l'ho messo al primo posto nonostante le canzoni che vi ho canticchiato, semplicemente per un semplice motivo, secondo me ce ne sono due superiori, solo per quel motivo lì, non c'è altro motivo. Nimrod non è tanto peggio di questo, ma sta sotto per un motivo molto semplice, perché non ha tutte le tracce perfette, ecco perché sta sotto anche Warning, che questo disco non ha 14 tracce perfette l'una più, più perfetta di quell'altra. Una più perfetta di quell'altra. Of course, only the hidden track uh, all by myself about masturbation, <laughs> thinking of three cool girlfriend is not, oh man, is not <laughs> a masterpiece, but of course, funny. Ragazzi, solo la canzone traccia nascosta sulla masturbazione all by myself è rivedibile. Sì, ragazzi, numero due, American Idiot. Yes, of course, American Idiot number two. Number two, American Idiot, not number one, this one, you will tell me not number one, oh no way, not number one, but here I was bursting, thinking about my number one, because this is really, 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 really close to be the number one. I broke this record listening several times, this is the first punk rock op uh, concept album. Opera rock into punk music. This is an amazing record. And you have to know a little story about this one. Green Day were recording Cigarettes and Valentine's record. Uh, maybe a simple sufficient record. A 6 out of 10. And for a mistake they lose, for an issue they lose all the material they were recording. So BJ changed idea changed uh, the purpose, his purpose, and decided to do something different. And this record uh, has came out that way, destroying Cigarettes and Valentine records to create a new one, completely different. This is a fucking masterpiece, my lord! This is a fucking masterpiece! It is not the one, this one of my first, overall, no! And if you are, if you watch careful, now you know maybe my first one but listen please we have got here american idiot subtitled track this is a bomb and also because of the story inside the concept album the jesus of suburbia story and saint jimmy his alter ego this is an amazing story about alienation inside american society suburbia life American dream broken for a lot of young people, broken homes. This is an amazing record deep inside with also political contents. This is something special. Don't wanna be an American idiot, one mission controlled by the media. Oh my lord. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, that start. And then Jesus of Suburbia. Here we have got two progressive songs. Yeah, the first two progressive songs into punk music, maybe. After the decline by NoFX in 1999. Here, 2004, Green Day, American Idiot, because the warning year 2000, of, and of course, Dookie, 1994. This 2004, 10, 10 years later, Dookie, this record is something special, guys. I was heartbroken because of a broken relation with my with a girlfriend that I was in love, a lot of passion, and she decided to broke. I was mad and I was sad. And listening to this one, I had life again. And we have two amazing progressive rock songs. I'm the son of rage and love, the Jesus of suburbia, my Babylon, born to be above. Oh man, this song. 
And there's nothing wrong with me This is how I'm supposed to be In a land of make-believes Don't not believe in me Oh my lord, this is an amazing song And you have to check Bullet in the Bible live record 2005, Milton Keynes, UK They did almost the, the, the whole record And it was an amazing show And then we've got Homecoming my heart is bleeding from me I'm standing all alone Please call me only If you are coming home About the life of soldiers In fucking horrible wars Oh man, and we've got And we've got Wake me up when September ends A sweet song with the warming ending with distortion inside at the end there are some the only reason why this one is not my best records even if you have i walk a lonely road the only one that i have ever known i don't know where it goes but it's up to me and i walk alone my shadows only wanna walk beside me my shallow heart, the only thing that's bleeding Guys, this is Boulevard of Broken Dreams, a masterpiece that also metal heads love And then we have Holiday This is, man, an ironic song about going in holidays in, uh, in war territories Soldier lives again Dying for your country Far away Hey, oh man, Zigal to the president, gas man, bombs away, it's your punishment. Pulverize the FL towers who criticize your government, my lord. This is such a banger, this song. So, even if you have American Idiot, Jesus of Suburbia, Holiday, Boulevard of Broken Dreams. Homecoming, wake me up when September ends, and you have also inside St. Jimmy. You have also inside St. Jimmy. Oh man, the, the faster punk rock song. Uh, oh man, maybe the best masterpiece of a punk rock song you have ever listened in your lifetime. After Are We the Waiting, St. Jimmy. Amazing. Also, because of this one, we have got two or three weak songs inside this one or weaker than the others this is the only reason why this record is in this position here but it is fantastic you can listen several times amazing ragazzi guys a little italian there we go first place are you ready then leave comments here Ragazzi, ho detto che American Idol, avete sentito, me le sono cantate. Questi sono pezzi capolavoro. Cioè, questo è il disco più fantastico di Green Day, punto. Numero uno. Numero uno. Ma ci sono solo un paio di canzoni lievemente sotto il livello. Solo per quello è secondo. Ma lasciate perdere anche questo discorso qua, perché questo è un capolavoro. È la prima opera rock nel punk. Il primo concept album nel mondo del punk. È una favola questo disco, i pezzi che avete sentito, cioè hanno inserito due pezzi progressive nel punk di 9 minuti, Jesus of Suburbia e Homecoming. C'è dentro storia, storia delle nazioni, dei sobborghi americani, eh, la storia di questo ragazzo emarginato nella società americana che cerca il suo spazio, che sceglie strade sbagliate, la droga, storie d'amore, c'è di tutto dentro. And also the poetic track What's Your Name at the End. He don't even recall her name. I remember the face, but I can't recall the name. Now I wonder how what's her name has been. Oh man, chills and goosebumps all over my body with this one. Seems that she is up here without a trace. Did she ever marry old? What in face? Oh man, sorry for my pronunciation, but I'm at a point to burn all of the photographs. This is really Billy Joe cried at the end of the recording of this one. 
you can check this recording on YouTube. So guys, amazing, ragazzi, nonostante questo secondo posto, comunque fantastico e pensate che è nato distruggendo un disco che doveva venire fuori sigarette e, e sigarette in Valentine's, ok? Che sarebbe sigarette e Valentini, ma Valentini sarebbero partner, insomma, tradotto. Persero il materiale su cui lavoravano, Billy Joe decise di fare una cosa tutta nuova e gli è venuto il capolavoro, se no sarebbe stato magari solo un disco da più. Ok, we got the first one here, Insomniac, guys, 1995 record. This is my personal best Green Day record. Because this is pure Green Day sound. Not so vintage, not lovely, uh, not lovely lyrics, but not the nowadays Green Day. Oh man, I, I don't wanna mention Mother of all, father of all the motherfuckers, please. Don't let me mention this horrible record. Please, please. 25 million of stupid music. This record here is the best. It simply the best. It came after Dookie. It is not so famous. This is the remake of Dookie. You can fail. You can fail a lot of time when you, when you make a remake. But this one is, re, is even stronger than Dookie. Here you have not, again, you have not uh, a weak track, again. Like only warning and, yeah, like only warning and Dookie is not a weak track inside. This is something special. The start, the start with this, the use of these tones and the ear drum by True Cool. Stranded, lost inside myself, my home was ran and my own closest enemy. Oh man, Armitage Shanks. This song is something incredible to start. Then Brat, mom and dad don't look so hot these days they get hey, over the hill. Oh man, the typical mindset of a of a brat. Oh man, and then you've got stuck with me. With with the wild bass solo. Oh man, struck down. Oh man, this song is amazing. Stuck with me. Well, I know you're not alright. Oh man, this song is something incredible. And then you've got Geek Stink Breath. Geek Stink Bread. Lo stronzo con l'alito marcio. Guys, now I will tell you the reason why the, the, this is called Insomniac. Ragazzi, ora vi dirò perché si chiama Insomniac, ma aspettate. Then we have Walking Contradiction at the end. You have Tigwood Hill, the hill where people uh, sell drugs. This is just reality of adolescence life inside the USA country. Oh man, fucking for a speedball one more night. Oh man, this is amazing. And then we have Panic Song, another song with an amazing bass. Panic Song with this unreal bass all song long. If you are a metalhead, come on, listen, Panic Song. And then you have 86. Oh man, with these with this, uh, wild raw riffs inside. There's no return from 86. There's no return from 86. Don't even try. Exit out of back and never show your head around again. Purchase your ticket and quickly take the last train out of town. So stand aside and let the next one pass. Don't let the door kick you in the ass. There's no return from 86. Oh man, but it is not over. You have got, we have got Westbone sign. And then I have to tell you also the best, best songs in this record that are Brain Stew Jetted songs. Brain Stew and Jetted. Pa-bam, 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 pa-bam. Oh man, brain stew, stufato di cervello and jetted. These two songs are 
the songs I want to listen all life long by Green Day. And we've got also the no another one I got no pride, no pride song. Oh man, no pride song and energetic start with guitar riffs and the snare drum horse run. My lord, this record is something the best is sim simply the best Green Day record ever. Ragazzi, questo disco è il migliore in assoluto. Vi ho detto tutte le tracce che ci sono, non solo non ce n'è nessuna debole. Ma ci sono delle linee di basso in Stuck With Me, in Panic Song, in Stuart and the Have. Starting in the corner of Stuart Hard and Avenue with this. With this bass line to start. Ragazzi, poi qui c'è 86, le avete sentite tutte. Ma più che altro c'è Brain Stew e Jedet, la partenza di Armata Shanks. Ragazzi, Walking Contradiction è incredibile. Allora. Ora vi dico perché ha scritto questo disco, ma prima in inglese. Guys, this one is called Insomniac because his wife was pregnant, he was really young. Uh, Billy Joe Armstrong here was 22 years old when he recorded this one, 22-23 years old. And it called, he called him uh, Insomniac, this record called it Insomniac because He was not able to sleep. This is the reason why you have got Gixting breath. He was into drugs a lot. He was destroying his teeth. And man, you have got brain stew with a nightmare that you can't sleep during the night. You are awake that way. Insomnia. All night long. Watching the clock with dry eyes. Oh man, this is just fantastic. Fantastic, uh, a, cre a crisis inside him, man, and this is the best record, so check it out. Little Italian and leave a comment here. Ragazzi, perciò, Insomniac, eccolo qua, miglior disco di Green Day. Lui l'ha chiamato così perché non riusciva a dormire, e sua moglie era incinta, era giovanissima, aveva 22 anni, ci aveva la testa di un deficiente, di un ragazzino, e quindi questa responsabilità del padre lo stava facendo impazzire. Poi era drogato, sfatto, e quindi parla degli acidi, di come si distruggeva i denti, vita reale, di come le, i ragazzi si rovinavano nelle colline della California a spacciare droga, a prostituirsi per una dose. C'è di tutto qui, c'è vita vera. E poi Brain Stew, stufato di cervello, che dice che non riesce a dormire la notte in preda dell'insonnia. Ecco perché si chiama Insomnia, anche questo disco. Insomma, fantastico. Fantastico! Ragazzi, se vi è piaciuto mettete un commento e ditemi la vostra classifica. Ovviamente la mia non è obiettabile, è così, punto. <ride> Però potete dire la vostra lo stesso nei commenti. Guys, so, tell me your preferences here. Remember my channel of reaction video Giacomo James. Here my name is Jack. And see you next time, guys. Ciao! Ciao for another reaction soon.